Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news coming out of Israel, both another terrorist attack and as well a coexist uh, plan that is being highly uh, lifted up as a great thing in Jerusalem. A test run, as it might be, for what it will be like to have the third temple built alongside the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. I want to thank Brother Kellen for sending me this article here today. Uh, this is being reported on Breaking Israel News, and it is heralded as a good thing from what it looks like with Israel uh, Breaking Israel News. Muslims, Christian, Jewish leaders plan interfaith worship center in Jerusalem. This came out today, July 1st, 2016. And they quote the psalm from David, a song of a sense of David, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Psalm 133 uh, verse 1, the coexist almost looks like blood personally dripping down off of the sign of the Star of David. Because, in fact, that's the only one that seems to appear to have what appears to be, of course, it's no doubt runny ink, but it looks like blood dripping off of the Star of David. That's exactly what happens to the uh, Israelis if they try to coexist with uh, the community of the Muslims, especially. Uh, and I can't rule out the Vatican either because it is the Vatican, according to Ezekiel 35, that they used a sword to kill off the Jewish people, only using other people involved to do it, and that's the Muslims. It says, Muslims, Christians, and Jewish leaders are planning to open an interfaith place of worship in Jerusalem for one week in September. The media line reported from September the 5th through the 11th, a Jerusalem structure currently known as Alpert Youth Music Center will become Amen, that's the name of it, a place of worship for the three Abrahamic faiths sharing a passion for Jerusalem which they will coexist temporarily under the wings of the Almighty. The worship center is being created as part of the annual uh, Mukdashet uh, Festival which is part of the Jerusalem Season of Cultural Initiative. Kind of interesting how that they have the Dome of the Rock and, of course, a mosque in the background through the little through the Wailing Wall in there as well, I guess, to give it the Jewish side there. Uh, I don't even see a church there anywhere from what I could tell, so I don't see much of a coexistence in the photograph. Tamar Alad uh, Applebaum, the religious leader and founder of the Zion Z Synagogue Community in Jerusalem, said this type of joint worship is very natural for an entire sector of the public. You pray together. It goes back to the most ancient ways people here in the city prayed and prayed uh, commun communally. So communicated today, we live in categories that frankly we, we couldn't do without. You know, guys, I, I, I just don't know what to think about all this. I really don't. It, it, it troubles me because I realize as nice as it may seem, this is nothing more than a Vatican plot to bring about what Rome wants, and that is to give you their own version of the Mashiach, not the true Messiah. Uh, in other breaking, very disturbing news there, a father murdered uh, in front of his children, Har Havron, uh, shooting an Arab terrorist, overtake a family traveling in their car, and open fire, killing Michael Mark of uh, Oatmeal, wounding three other family members. Uh, this is the article here on Israel National News. Uh, you can see here, this is a little bit of the video here um, where they show some of the footage of the uh, rescue workers coming on the scene there. Uh, the ambulance is there. They do have it blocked out uh, what was happening in the car. The car is overturned. Again, the father was murdered in this. Several people are wounded and injured. A tragedy uh, for the family. He is a 40-year-old man. Michael was called Mickey Mark from the nearby town of uh, Nael, who was traveling in his car with his family when it was targeted. His wife, Javi, was seriously wounded in the attack and was evacuated to Jerusalem's Hadassah Ain Karim Hospital with multiple gunshot wounds to her upper body. God have mercy. Uh, anyway, gunned down in front of his wife and children, Michael Mark. This is Michael right here, and a picture of him here uh, studying in uh, a nearby synagogue there. Very heartbreaking to see that the violence continues no matter how much coexistent things they want to try to do. Uh, unfortunately, it's just not going to happen without the coming of the Mashiach. It's just not, because as long as... Uh, is Israel is not allowed to be a state of its own sovereignty. 
uh, without being overrun by all the Muslim community, you're not going to get peace any other way. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching a quick take of our broadcast this evening. Uh, we have other issues that we're dealing with right now, but I wanted to at least update you. Also, there was a stabbing as well. Two people were wounded in Netanya. Uh, that is just north of Tel Aviv, a, a seeming to be a peaceful little community. We had actually looked at uh, trying to get an apartment there at one time before, uh, and now that has been shattered with a Palestinian terrorist. Uh, the terrorist was shot by a armed civilian, and uh, he was killed, uh, but he did wound two, uh, two uh, people there in the process of his terror attack using a knife there. Uh, and it just reminded me about gun control, gun control laws in the United States. When you arm the citizens in Israel, they will help come to the rescue of their own people. Uh, I know there's pro and cons both ways on that. Won't really get into that debate, but when it comes to Israel, it does take, the, take an armed community in order to protect its own citizens. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.